Welcome to Booski Nation. Hello there, my name is Tessa. Thank you so much for stopping by here in my channel, Booski Nation. Please hit the post notification bell so you know when I post a video, whether I'm live streaming or I post a message. You'll know when your girl is on the tube. Also, like this video so we can spread the love. We can grow as a family and hit the comment section. I love comments. Whether you have a topic suggestion, whether you need prayer for yourself, your family, a friend, the nation, or whether you just want to say, hey, Tessa Booski, what it do, best friend? I'm here for it. So today, um, I'll be straightening up my room. And I want to talk to you all today about stepping out of fear and stepping into faith. Right? So let's get into it. I know you all had a awesome Thanksgiving. We did. Me and my family had a very, very, very pleasant Thanksgiving. A lot of food, a lot of laughter, a lot of love, a lot of thanks. To see another Thanksgiving, I'm grateful for that, you know, I'm grateful, I'm truly grateful. And for those of you who may have been working, for those of you who may have been alone, for those of you who may have been with just friends, to, to God be the glory. You have what? Breath run through your, 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 your body, blood run through your veins. You were allowed to see another Thanksgiving. And for that, we're thankful. And for all of those who have lost loved ones, whether years ago or whether it had been very fresh, of course, you all were in my prayers and thoughts. And um, we just give God the thanks and the glory for yet another Thanksgiving. So today, let's talk about stepping out of fear and into faith. So whatever it is that you, I'm here to tell you, whatever it is that God has laid in your heart to do, do it. Don't question it. Don't doubt it. Don't say you're not good. Don't say you, you're, you're, you're not good enough. Don't say that, hey, I don't have this. I don't have that. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't have the materials. I don't have the, the um, punch lines or you don't have the look or... You don't have the top of the line, you know, equipment. Use what God gave you. Because clearly if God has placed something on your heart to do, you have, you are equipped to do so right now in this present time. So let's step out of that fear and into faith. And, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that. It does not have to be perfect. God did not call us to be perfect. God called us to be faithful. God called us to be obedient to the word. And God just wants us to try. Just put forth the effort and to try. God wants to step out in faith. Right? So you might be like, Tess, it's been on my heart to step out and minister. Minister the word of God. Tell the people about God's love, God's patience, God's grace and mercy. But Tess, I had backslide five years ago. Tess, I backslide 10, 15, 20 years ago. Tess, I backslided two years ago, three years ago, a year, a month, however long it may have been. Tess, I backslided. And girl, people talk, girl. People got something to say, girl. People, 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 people. people. We'll see. Right now, let me sit down. Right now, in this moment, listen to what you're saying, people. I want you to step out of what people are saying. People going to talk, right? That's what they do. People going to talk. People going to have something to say. People going to nitpick. People going to judge. People going to be people. But guess what? Who has the last say so? God has the last say so. Who reports shall you believe? God's reports, right? Who are you aiming to please? God. Who are you 
Amos to be obedient to and faithful to God. So the door with the people. That's two of them. Matter of fact, it's one over it. The door. Throw it away. Throw it away and walk out in faith. Walk out in what God is telling you to do. If God is telling you to get up and tell somebody every day, God loves you. God cares for you. You are special. God told me to tell you you are special. You do what God has placed on your heart to do. It's better to be obedient, okay, than to not do what God has called you to do. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And I promise you, as you begin to walk in obedience to what God has placed on your heart to do, things will then fall into place. And as I speak to you all, I am also speaking and encouraging myself. Please, please don't ever think that your girl is perfect. Please don't think that your girl is just, she baby, she is strutting booski. Okay? The imperfection, the imperfection lies. Girl, she have her moments. She have her moments, her weak moments. She have her moments when she's sad. She, sad. she have her moments when she just uh, throw it away. I can't. No, oh God. Please believe. But as I encourage you, I, I am encouraging myself as I pour into you. God is pouring back into me. So you step out and you missionary. You go out and you speak the word of God. You might be like Tess, but God has told me to step out on YouTube and make videos and talk to people and encourage people and uplift people and just be myself. Be yourself, boo. But Tess, I don't have the best equipment. Tess, I don't got this. Tess, I don't got that. <sighs> Tess, I look like this. Tess, I'm always in my head, girl. We always, all, always in our head, all of us. That's why we got to stay before God. We got to pray, petition, pray, petition, petition, and pray and talk to God constantly. Even when we feel like we're not being heard, even when you feel like we, it's just hitting the walls. But never feel like that because God is always listening and God is always speaking to us. We just not, we're just not listening. So you step out and you do that, you too. Matter of fact, little nugget, that's what I'm doing. If you, when you finish watching this video, Go back to my um my videos like on my channel and you're gonna see like my first couple of videos, there's gonna be like a gap, like gaps in between. And that's because your girl was in her head. That's because your girl in her was in her feelings. That's because in people in my ear, I'm feeling like this, I'm feeling like that. This going on, that going on. I don't feel, you know, like I was called to do this or I was built to do this, or I'm you know, I look at myself and think I look like this, I don't have this equipment, I don't have that. I just got this, I just if you have it, if God gave you, if you got a phone and you can press record, God gave you the tools you need to hit this YouTube and to put them videos out to the world and to encourage God people and to speak whatever God put on your heart to speak. Just like I'm doing. You feel me? And like I said, God didn't call us to be perfect. God just said to try. And when we try, that's all God needs. And God will make what we tried to do look as perfect and flawless as ever. So, if you if it's YouTube you want to, do Booski, hit it up. We're going to grow together. We're going to missionary together. We're going to spread the word of God together. We're going to spread God love together. You feel me? That's why we got to, you get that, you get that, um, YouTube channel, hit that comment, set, that comment section. That's why y'all got to, y'all got to talk to me. Don't worry. I'm going to get I'm going to get everything set up. You feel me? My, um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to put everything there. I got it. I got it. I just need to put it there so y'all can have the information. The email, the telephone number where you all can text me. You can call me, whether it be prayer requests, whether it be, um, you know, hey, girl, says, what's up, Booski? How you doing? Whatever. You know, I'm going to have everything down there so we can keep in communication. We can grow. As a family, we can watch each other grow and give our testimonies and praise reports of what the greatness of God, what God got going on. You might be like, Tess, girl, it's been in my heart to work out, to encourage people. You know, don't get don't get discouraged by how you look and how things just falling off slowly. Just be patient with the process. It's going to all work out. Do that, Booski. Get your phone, Booski. It could be 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, Booski. 15 minutes. You might better test that 32 long, 15, give yourself 15 minutes in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, whenever you have the time or whenever it's in your heart to um, repost that, clip it, 
of encouragement to work out, do that. Hey y'all, what's up? Whoopie, what it is? Blah, blah, blah. You know, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Are you feel the ski? Let me know. Let me know because I'm going to support. Do that. Jump on it and do it. You might be like, Tess, it's been on my heart to encourage people to eat healthy and to do do it. Everybody does social media, just about everybody. Whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook. For all my old schoolers, like I'm gonna pull it all the way back. Booski, I don't even know if it's still functioning. Oh, MySpace. <laughs> Booski, if you still got that, go in for it. You feel me? Go in for it. Go for it. But just step out of fear and step into faith and do what God has placed on your heart to do. Don't care about what people are going to say. Don't care about what people going to think. They're going to think. They're going to say. That's what people do. You here to be what? A soldier, a boss for Christ. You feel me? And I'm telling you, all your imperfections, all you see, all these imperfections you see, I'm telling you, God is going to clean them eyes of yours and allow yourself to see yourself in the, the way God see you. You feel me? That, 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 confident that courage that god has already have placed in you god you just gotta stay faithful you gotta stay faithful you gotta walk out of fear into faith and watch god work and i promise you i promise you it's gonna all work out because look at me god been putting on my heart been praying i've been putting petitioning praying praying petitioning praying praying talking to god talking to god crying out to god talking to god crying out to god like, you know, I'm human. You know, I, I, I'm pretty sure we all feel about the same way. And I'm here to tell you that I decided to step out of fear and step into faith and do what God has placed on my heart to do. And I'm so excited to see what God is going to do with my life, what God is going to do with me, what God, how is God is going to use me, how my channel is going to grow, how my Booski Nation is going to grow, baby, how my family is going to grow and, and progress, my personal family, my YouTube family, you feel me? My Instagram family, my Snapchat family, at, um, my Facebook family, all this is Booski Nation. You feel me? I'm just so grateful to see how it's all going to grow. Open up these different outlets and begin to speak to the people because some people may be more of a YouTube YouTuber watch or some people may just like Facebook or some people may just like Snapchat or some people may just like um, TikTok. You feel me? Some people just may like Instagram. You reach out wherever God leads you to reach out, baby. Spread them to the kids, baby. Spread them out and touch God, people. And I promise you, I promise you, you'll be rewarded. Be rewarded, Bootsie. And I'm stepping out on faith. I'm stepping out. I just, you know, I said, God was like, get up. Get up, Tess. Get your phone. Hit record. That's all I want you to do. Get up. Hit record. So as I walk out on faith and I walk out of fear, I want you to do the same. I want you to do the same. Whether it's hair, tell us, I, it's just been in my heart to bless people, to do hair. I really want to do hair. Yo, God ain't called us to be the same. God ain't called us to be identical. If that's the, if that's the point, what, what's the point? You feel me? Of all of this. If that's the point, we all the same, what's the point? Oh, because Lusky, if we was all identical and just the same, Talking to you and be talking to myself like we all just eat beep 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 That's what makes that's what makes God's people that that's what makes the world such a beautiful place like a big giant beautiful beautiful sunshine like acres and acres of beautiful colorful flowers you feel just all different you know what I'm saying like. None of us have the same fingerprints. You hear me? None of us laugh the same. Like, we're different. We're just different. So, with that being said, stop comparing yourself. Stop jumping on these social medias and stop comparing yourself to what you see. Remember, people going to always put their best foot forward. You hear me? Before they turn that camera on, baby, before they 
take that picture or pose and thought this is gonna be the best of the best before they post it up. Okay, so remember that. Stop beating yourself up. You feel me? Stop beating yourself up. Just do what God told you to do, how God tell you to do it. Like God said, Tessa, get up, fresh play. Don't worry about editing. Don't worry about nothing. Just do this. And I'm just going to do what God tell me to do. So if God said, get up, Booski, go to the hair store tomorrow. Get you the three for five. They sell um, the cheap hair, three for five. Three packs of hair for five dollars. Get you a comb. I normally they just probably sell a comb. Just depending on the sale, you might get three combs for a dollar, two for a dollar. Get you a comb. Your pack of hair come home. Part boop. And Booski, you got enough to grip. Walk, walk, walk. And you just get to try. Do five, five plus, five plus, five plus, five plus every day. Five plus, five plus, five plus, five plus every day. And I promise you, I promise you, those five plus they are gonna go from. Hanging on a piece of hair, booty to skin in the scalp. And if you got a daughter, a baby girl, a niece, your mama, your sister, your friend, you know, your homeboy, you feel me? Whoever. If they're ready to let you skin them, let them, let, let them be, you know, be a blessing to them. Because you you learning, they're being a blessing to you, letting you do their hair. And by you, by them letting you do their hair, you're being blessing, a blessing to them. A freestyle. Who's key? Who don't want a freestyle? Yes. Who don't want to, who don't want to be snatched for the free? Yes. So, see, you walk out of fear, walk into faith. Not only are your are you are you are your are your are you growing and things is coming up, but you're being a blessing. Look at that. You're being a blessing. Ain't nothing like a good hairdo, baby, to make you feel good about yourself. Okay. To make you feel better about yourself. So walk out of fear. Walk into faith and be that blessing God calls you out to be. And I'm just so grateful. I am I am I am truly grateful that I'm choosing to be obedient. I'm not saying being obedient is always easy, but it's always the best thing to do. It's always the best move to make. You hear me? So whatever it may be, whatever God is placing your heart to do, whatever God has called you to do, like look. You do it, look. Just ain't even straighten up about nothing, child. She put a couple of socks together, girl. Look. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be on here with you all today. I am truly happy to be on here with you all today. And I, I know God is doing great things for us all. And I look forward. I really, truly do look forward to, to, to you know, the reports, you know what I'm saying? The comments, Tess, this happened, Tess, that happened. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. And I'm going to y'all better know I'm going to jump on here and give y'all the tea. What God doing for me? You better know it. You better know it. Oh, and I want to touch this. Even if you're in a situation, right? A relationship that you feel like, you know what? I forced this, and um, I realized that this is not the will of God. Be patient. Petition, continue, and to stay at the foot of the Lord, and talk to God and ask God for clarity, and, and ask God to guide you. I know it's not easy. I know you want to run out and get out, but, you know, a lot of times we're so anxious and so quick to get into things, and... It's full of it. And then we be so anxious and quick to get out of things. We're not patient to get into something, you know? We're not patient for what we want. So we force it. Then we get into it in foolishness. Then we're not patient to allow God to get us out. So we force our way out. And we then we jump what? Right back into foolishness. So let's just try let's just let's try to practice in this. As I speak to you, I speak to myself in every shape, form, possible, like, in every way. I'm speaking to myself. Be patient. It may be a job. It may be a relationship. It may be, you may be staying with family. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, you may be staying with a friend. You may be in a situation that you just, you feel like you about to just throw it all away. Just, I can't. 
petition God, call God, God say, he catches our tears, he hears our every cry, and seek the face of God, and I promise you, everything is going to work out in God's time. You just got to be patient, and you just got to wait on the, on the Lord to move. Don't be anxious this time. Don't be fast this time. You feel me? Don't move in fear. That's what get us in this this mess. We either ain't doing what we supposed to do. We putting ourselves in situations that we ain't need to be in. Now we prolong what we need to be doing because we got fools just going on around us, around us, and now we can't do nothing because of chaos, and we can't do a damn thing. Just everything is just foolery. So let's practice, okay? Not moving in fear, being anxious, quick for anything, and let's practice moving in faith, being patient, and waiting on God. You hear me? Yes. And God gonna move. God gonna get it together. And as I minister to you and as I speak to you, I minister and I'm speaking to myself. <sighs> y'all look at these clothes, y'all. Everywhere. Oh, I am just, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my God. I'm just so happy. Because I know God is doing it. I know it. I know it. I know it, man. Oh, I know it. It's just, I can feel it in the atmosphere. I know it, man. So be encouraged. You feel me? Step out of that fear. Step into faith. And do what God calls you to do. Yes. Yes. Remember that God loves you. And remember that. God wants the best for you. Remember that you were perfectly created in the eyesight of God. Everything about you is beautiful and perfect. And remember once again that God loves you and so do I, Boski. Be blessed. Love you.